Okay, in the in the last video, I started to run out of time, but we were we were uh, we, we 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 ended up with this answer right here coming from this guy. So let, let's try it again and see what happens. All I did right here is I just rewrote this guy like this. So let's see if uh, let's see if it works out for us. Uh, this will end up being a quotient. So. Okay, um, now we, we changed it from a quotient to, um, now we have powers in here, so let's go ahead and bring them down. Okay, and then let's go ahead and factor out the uh, one third. So, it looks like we get the same thing, didn't we? So, like I said, you know, there's uh, several uh, methods of, of, you know, getting, getting the job done. Um, and that's just, you know, that is just uh, one of the many. So, um, I think in a couple, by the time this, this video is over, I think we'll be, um, I think we'll be just about ready to um, start... I think we'll um, actually it, let let's uh, go backwards. Instead of expanding the logs, let's let's shrink them back down. I'll give them. I'm gonna give you a, a log in this form, like this, and we're gonna try and get it back into like a, a single log. Okay, so let's go. Let's use a natural log. Okay. Um, and by the time we're done with this video, we, we should be able to do some word problems with these things. Okay, so right away, I have a subtraction problem, so I'm probably going to end up with a quotient. Um, so before I do that, I, I kind of want to uh, go and uh, you use the power rule, just backwards again. So that's going to be a natural log. Okay, that's all I did. Is I, we're, we're going backwards now. So the, the powers you know, are going to go back up front. Okay. Okay. Um, better way to write this is cubed root of that. So, ooh, that's a, supposed to be a minus sign right there. Um, so now that we've got a, uh, a, a subtraction problem involving logs, we can combine them and kind of use the single logarithm. And there I go. I just ended up back to where I was in the beginning. Just I just worked backwards. You see that? Uh, this time we started out with uh, two logs and we, and we used the power rule. We stuck the powers back up on top of the variables. Then we used the uh, quotient rule backwards again, and we came up with uh, a single log. So that's pretty cool. Let's try it again. Um, let's go. Okay. We so say we got log x plus 7 log of y. Nothing really changes on the first term. The second one, we can use the power rule. We can just stick it back up there on top of the variable. Uh, let's see here. Then next, it's, uh, well, it, 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 it's, a, it's a sum. So if we want to combine it into a single logarithm, We're gonna end up with this man right here, and not too bad, not too bad. Okay, um, let's do another one. Let's do. Oh, here's a good one. This one has three terms in it. Okay, so there's three of them. Um, let's see here. Well, we got coefficients on every single uh, log, so immediately let's just 
let's just throw them back up there and, and use the power rule, okay? So, I will take three power rules to go, right? Three of them. Okay, so that, that's equal to natural log x to the fourth plus natural log of y to the seven minus natural log of z to the third. Okay. Now let me go ahead. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna group this term, and I'm just gonna go um, natural log of x to the fourth y to the seventh minus natural log of z to the third. Okay. Well, now I've got a uh, a, qu uh, a, a, a a difference which uh, tells me to go break out the uh, quotient rule and in a single logarithm a natural one I might add there we go there we are we're, we're, we're back there so let's see what what would have happened let's say we, we instead decided we were going to group these together what would happen what would happen well we get natural log of we would end up with that which that's really not I don't know if I like that that's not see yeah we could do that but that's probably yeah that's gonna make things a little more complicated it's actually gonna be like that so this is more definitely more simplified so let's pretend like we didn't even think about doing that and we were right the first time okay um trying to think if there's anything else we need to do We've solved uh, log equations, haven't we? Haven't we? I think I got seven minutes left. We could probably try one really quick. Um, so let's go. Log eight. I'm just gonna make this up. I hope it works. Basically it says eight we know what this this section this part of the the thing means right that's eight to the second power equals x plus seven so we go eight squared equals x plus seven okay so we get sixty four equals x plus seven sixty four minus seven that's what fifty seven is it all right cool I'm good I'm good all right, so that, I mean, this isn't too hard, you know. So, um, yeah, we're just about out of time on that. Keep that in mind because we're going to, we're gonna have to, yeah, we're gonna do some stuff here, and um, we're gonna we're gonna actually solve some equations that have uh, variables tied up in some areas that we don't like. So, um, we'll do that. It's it's not nothing bad. So, I'll see you in the next one.